Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage this month's centrefold in the new Screwfix brochure, Mr. Mark Radcliffe. I thank you. Hello. Will you welcome into your midst and into your hearts, Sir Nodward of Hodler? probably for the next four or five years we were on virtually week in week out and if we weren't number one in the charts we'd be opening the show because they they always liked us on to open the show to build the studio audience up how many number ones were there in that we had six number ones incredible yeah Yeah. and we had a long long string of of hit records but of course you're talking about the clothes and that we had to develop the, the all the clothes and Dave, of course, wanted to be... What, you mean that that wasn't off the peg that Dave was wearing? <laughs> that wasn't at Mr. Byright, Warsaw, was it? I find that surprising. <clears throat> Dave had to... Uh, he had to outdo everybody else that was on the show. Well, and mission so accomplished. Week it? by week, he, he became more and more outrageous. But he never... He never let us see him putting his clothes on gradually he would only let us see the finished product so he'd go in the toilet and change and we used to give all his outfits nicknames that particular one was the metal nun <laughs> and he had one with all feathers on that was fat fog on leg on that one i said i said anyway he, we used to hear all the hairsprays and the squishing going on in in the bathroom and finally after about half an hour he could quieten down and you knew he was ready and I used to say, come on H, H was his nickname in the band, come on H, reveal, and out he'd come in whatever new regalia he invented that week. And Jim would have his head in his hand. <laughs> and Jim said, I am not going on TV. Looking like that. So we had this rigmarole every, every time we were on top of the bus. And, that, and Dave's comeback always was, you write them, I'll sell them. <laughs> <laughs> 